Hey guys, Fox here. I've upgraded my CNC machine to have a best possible finish. Uh, and I was teasing you with the short teaser, how it looks. In this video I will focus more on uh, surface finish than cutting itself, because cutting is kind of boring, the results are in the interesting part. And yeah, I guess you would like to see that ball up close. No worries, no worries, you're gonna see it under microscope, but we have to mill it first. I changed the coolant pump to 9000 liters per hour, so you can't really see much cutting. That's why I'm gonna speed it all up. Yeah, I think it's not bad, but uh, I could run a spring pass around uh, that cylinder. I kind of forget about it, but yeah, I think it uh, looks good. And I'm gonna be using a regular free float uh, Chinese end mill. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's not too bad. Obviously you can see the worn end mill which you have those stripes because when it's cutting it's engaging different parts of the end mill. So obviously that part was uh, kind of worn. Looks like it. As you can see it's kind of shiny. Let's uh, check without the lights. So I use the ramp and spiral for my sphere. Fusion doesn't convert ramps or spirals to arcs. It does those short lines instead. This one is one micron tolerance with one micron smoothing. And I guess that's why it makes those dots so irregular. I'm trying to see the lines between each step because uh, there was no curves in it. Just a lot of tiny lines which make a circle and they're gonna zoom it in here I have a hair which is around 70 80 microns my tool path spacing was precisely a hundred microns but still the curvature of the tool makes those small lines I read that for the mirror finish the step down should be five microns which you know it takes way too long I just wanted to share with you the first results. So under this extreme magnification you can see the lines from which the circle is made. Now I will do some test cuts on uh, X, Y and faced on Z. Everything uh, is 1 meter per minute and 0.1 millimeter side cut. So let's go 25 millimeters deep. Okay, I guess I will have to take more. Was it enough? Mostly. One more pass. One tenth of a millimeter. So now we've cut it everything. Uh, so here is my part. I have my x-axis is here and the uh, y-axis here. And uh, here is my uh, uh, z-axis. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not bad. Uh, yeah, 
so that's how it uh, looks. And I'm gonna show you on the reflection. So. I think I got the pretty good angle here. That's the parallel surface ground and that's aluminium. So that's the reflection and that's the reflection. So I think it's more reflective on uh, CNC. I guess it's kind of good enough. So you can compare two at once. Which one needs more reflective? The difference side to side. Um, how it looks. And the pictures. Yeah, the picture is kind of more blurry, blurry looking on uh, parallel, which was uh, surface ground. And that's the CNC cut on the right. So I have the same angle, right? Uh, switch to a grid so we can compare maybe better. Try to make the same angle. I won't say I know what I'm doing, <laughs> but you guys always want to see me milling steel. So I'm gonna mill this with a six millimeter end mill made for metal. And I don't really know much about the metal end mills, but that one is for the metal. Test number one. Would it break immediately or not? I think I might be going a bit too fast. Now I'm gonna try a deeper cut, same speed and so on, and let's see what happens. Really? Okay, so I went back and forth with a slightly deeper cut, but I guess I could go more than that. I want to see if it's uh, any better. No, not really. Here I can see some lines. Here is smooth after the... Ah, because I was going back, so okay. Um, so here is smooth after the spring pass. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go deeper. Let's try... Oh. Uh, 0.1 millimeter width of cut 10 millimeter deep let's go see what happens okay it's making some very thin chips and now it's gonna be making big chips or bigger chips uh, yeah the spindle didn't observe any change from idle Okay, how does it look? I think there is a tool deflection because it's so tiny. So when it went you know, over the hump, you can see something. Yeah, the finish looks exactly the same. No difference whatsoever. So I guess I will go deeper. I'll go 
0.3 millimeter width of cut and you know guys it, it, it's hardened so that counsel it gets a bit different okay 0.3 and the same stuff ay 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 I guess it's a bit too much okay so this is the new cut as you can see it's uh, shinier so it's that part in here change the focus so you're gonna see clear reflection I guess that's gonna be somewhere here so the grind or CNC I'm not entirely sure what's shinier so here I have a parallel with the surface ground edge which is looks like this right and here I have my uh, parallel which I cut that's 0.2 millimeters and that's 0.3 millimeter and that one was uh, giving you know um, big of a show but it's shinier and that's not that's one is not as shiny but that's shiny and if you compare surface surface ground with the CNC meal the CNC it looks shinier as I said before I have no clue about cutting steel because there were so many people asking me to cut some steel so I finally did you know um, I'm, I was kind of curious myself but uh, it doesn't mean I know how to cut steel on that machine obviously it shouldn't throw so many sparks yeah the tool survived there is no chatter in it the finish looks pretty good even if it was a wrong recipe I think it's shinier than uh, a surface grinder finish wise for me it works before I finish that video I have to do one more test I'm sure you're gonna guys ask for which is will it ring together uh, straight from the CNC and I don't know let's take a look okay here I have like uh, two pieces that's uh, the one which you saw I milled and uh, yeah it's pretty cool eh? um, and that's another one which I milled and I just want to you know show you that's uh, that's not wet it's dry and I'm gonna try to wring those two together and see if it will work would it let's see come on get it together it works for a short time works that way too yep so for the next test I just gonna add that a drop of water and see if it will stick okay holding Would it break? Wow. So I guess I still have some room for improvement and um, I guess I need to take a look into some maybe better tools or better tool holders and you know just to play with it a bit longer because you know for me that machine it's right now completely new machine its behavior and everything it's completely different what could I say more I hope you like it obviously um, and perhaps you're gonna find it useful and maybe you're gonna use it as a benchmark for your own DIY CNC machine to compare to and um, 
I think that would be it for today. So see you next time.